register, so 5G UWB, that's ultra wide band, which is Verizon's millimeter wave network. <laughs> So the network we have here today is pre-commercial. It's one that was just set up in a couple of days. Just to show proof of concept of downloading over the network itself, it is not a commercial network where we do expect up to 10 times the LTE download speeds. You guys are here? So unfortunately there will be no speed test today because it is obviously it's a pre-commercial as, as well. Oh, so we can't see it in action? We are going to see downloads in action. Oh, they okay. will be at uh, various speeds. Uh, so let me, I'm going to switch to a webcam so everyone can view that on the monitor behind me as well. Okay, so the device right now is registered on the 5G UWB network. And so we're going to launch an app that we co-developed with Snapdragon, uh, uh, Qualcomm, apologies. Uh, and these apps itself, so we've got posted on the local server uh, a 50 megabyte, a 250 megabyte, one gig file. So we'll start with just a 50 megabyte file download live over the network. It happened less, of course, in a second. This is uh, very fast and actually uh, the network's going very well right now. Uh, and then we'll do something five times as big. So now we'll do a 250 megabyte file. Uh, yeah, four seconds uh, again, so... Where are these files being downloaded from? Uh, there's a local server attached right to our 5G Gino beams in the network here at this venue. Uh, now we'll do a one gigabyte file download itself. Uh, well, this is downloading. Obviously, content download applications are hugely important to consumers, especially at areas like an airport. Obviously, this always also uh, ushers in a lot of other experiences, such as like gaming, telemedicine, VR, and a lot of great things where you really need that high bandwidth and very low latency. Uh, so that was 17 seconds. We'll do it maybe one more time. Let's see what we get this time. So uh, the device itself, so we did our first live network trial in Providence, Rhode Island about one month ago on the Verizon network. Um, and then obviously we're doing a lot in lab and, and we continue to make great progress on this to deliver this in early 2019. Okay, so uh, that was a, a, just a demonstration over the network we have right here today. So now let's shift to once the 5G network is fully commercially available, what we do expect. So we do expect 10x the LTE experience on the device, and that does mean that you can download within one minute 60 of your Spotify songs, pretty much all of your Google photos that were uh, loaded up your G drive from your, your vacation here in Maui. You can actually download a full season of whatever your favorite episodes are, whether it's Game of Thrones or Stranger Things, uh, and you were looking at that file size of 400 to 500 megabytes. You can do that all within one minute. You got another minute uh, to wait. You can actually download a couple more 4K videos and perhaps even a 3K, uh, sorry, 360 degree 4K video. And you have five minutes to board, so now you have three more minutes. You can go get a drink and still make your flight on time.